Vehicle ownership around the world continues to increase, with annual sales of cars expected to top 100 million by 2020. Increasing wealth, population and urbanization are all driving vehicle demand. And at the same time, climate change and air quality both remain high on the global agenda. Consequently, we're seeing ever-tightening legislation on emissions, including carbon dioxide, from cars, trucks and buses, and as a result, the need for lower emission, lower carbon transport. Johnson Matthey has long been a leader in tackling emissions from traditional vehicles powered by the internal combustion engine. Now the company is applying its chemistry and applications expertise to create the advanced battery technologies required for the next generations of the automotive powertrain. There are numerous ways in which batteries are used to generate power for all types of vehicles, from micro, mild and plug-in hybrids, right through to pure battery electric vehicles. But the fundamental chemistry of a lithium-ion battery is common across them all. Lithium ions from the anode material shown on the right move across to the cathode on the left. At the same time, a flow of electrons are generated, which is the power required for the vehicle. The cathode material in the battery cell is a key component in providing the electricity needed to power a vehicle. And there are a number of different classes of cathode material, each suited to a particular application. At Johnson Matthey's facility near Montreal, Canada, the company is manufacturing one particular type of cathode material, lithium ion phosphate, or LFP. A key characteristic of LFP is its power density. It has a complex chemical structure designed to release electrons quickly and efficiently, thus giving the boost of power when needed by the vehicle. At the same time, the structure of LFP needs to be very robust so that it can withstand the harsh and repetitive demands of charging and recharging in automotive applications. Manufacturing LFP at scale requires a multi-step process with precise monitoring and quality control at each stage to ensure the exact specification of the final product which can be optimized for each customer's application. Once raw materials are received, they're combined in large tanks where they undergo a chemical reaction to make an impure form of LFP. Excess liquid is removed by filtering, and the impure LFP that's collected is combined with other components, which help to optimize the performance of the final battery material product. The size, shape and morphology of the LFP particles are key to the material's performance and so the LFP undergoes a number of further manufacturing steps to ensure the right parameters. Given the precise chemical and physical properties required for high-performance LFP, process monitoring at key stages ensures the highest levels of traceability and control. In addition, scientists at the site's dedicated analytical laboratories are also on hand to ensure that the very highest quality standards are maintained. Once all controls and checks are complete, the finished LFP is then bagged and safely packaged before it's shipped off-site to customers around the world. As legislation drives the increased need for a broader choice of powertrain options, demand for new, higher-performance battery materials is set to grow. As experts in the complex chemistry needed to develop these next-generation products, we at Johnson Matthey are already working on the solutions of the future for our customers. In addition, with a strong position in LFP and a clear strategic focus to expand our range of battery materials, we're well positioned to benefit as a technology enabler for the evolving automotive powertrain. <laughs>